A new challenger enters the fray. Adobe unveils Firefly, which is their new generative AI tool set to compete with uh, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and Dolly. And they have one big difference compared to all the other tools, except the range of features that we're going to look at in a bit. But what they do have is a 100% legally trained data set. So their model is trained on Adobe stock images and public domain works. So there's no gray area there at all. And that's going to be very good to know for many professionals that want to use the tool. So let's check out the unveiling. By the way, why did the spider eat the firefly? It wanted a light snack. Adobe Firefly is under the Sensei umbrella, which is Adobe's AI project. Now here's just some examples of the images created with Firefly, and as any generative AI site basically looks the same. You have the prompt here next to the image. And it's a generative AI made for creators. With a beta version of the first Firefly model, you can use everyday language to generate extraordinary new content. And Firefly has the potential to do much, much more. And I think what they got going is they're going to implement this into Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. And they already have great tools with a great user interface. And by adding AI on top of that, that's going to provide great stuff for professionals already using the tools. And here you can see an example of what is known as outpainting in generative AI today. So, well, first, this is an image to image or an in painting where they change a part of the scene. And down here, this is the out painting that where they expand on uh, an image. And this is available in Stable Diffusion, for example, as of today, but will now also be available in Firefly. And workflow wise, this will help a lot of people as you might already have a, a photo or an illustration inside Photoshop, and you, you can just keep working inside there with Firefly. And here they have an example with sketches, and here they're creating vector variants. And that's uh, super cool. You can see, I, I, this is just an example now, but when you can get sketches or a generative AI into real vectors, there's some great use, especially for logotypes or, or symbols as they're using here. So this is something I'm looking forward to uh, immensely as this will help me in my daytime work as a professional art director working with my clients. Now, this is not available in the beta as of today. Hey, waiter, how's the Firefly soup? Why, it's delightful. They also plan to implement this into video. So here's a scene. It's a summer scene, and they're changing this into a winter scene. And as you can see, it's a video here. We said, well, it's actually just a camera panning and some snow, but it's, it's still a video. And that's fairly cool. And here they're implementing this to for content creation. It says 
Get ready to create unique posters, banners, social posts, and more with a simple text prompt. With Firefly, the plan is to do this and more, like uploading a mood board to generate totally original customizable content. And this is something that Generative AI has been lacking a little bit as of today. You can make great looking photographs and illustrations, but um, getting that into banners, um, web pages, layouts, designs in general, it's, uh, that's not really there yet. They plan to implement uh, 3D modeling, future forward 3D, and as they say here, in the future. So this is probably not. Then again, in the AI future, that could be months or weeks or, or days, but seeing as this is from a larger company, I don't think we can expect this this year, but maybe, who knows? But uh, they hope to enable Firefly to do amazing work with 3D, like turning simple 3D compositions into photorealistic images. And uh, the way they're showing it here, just dragging and dropping textures onto the image, that's uh, really cool. I'd love to try it, something like that. And here's an example that got me going a little bit, and I saw some other text examples as well. They could actually create proper text. Now, these are just single letters, so as they're pretty big, even Stable Fusion in Mid Journey could create a letter. We'll have a quick look at some words later as well, because that's a real game changer, especially when you can type the words in the font you want inside Photoshop or Illustrator and keep working with generative AI towards that specific typeset you have. Hey, what did the police officer say to the Firefly? Who glows there? And here's another page, and they kind of have the information split up between pages, which uh, I really don't understand why, but here's some more examples of what Firefly can do. And uh, what's available right now is the text to image, obviously, and here you have text effects, apply styles to texture to text with a text prompt. And this, again, that, this gets me going, and I'm hopeful to be able to test this very soon. So if you're working on uh, Adobe, send me beta, please. They say a recoloring vector series coming soon. I haven't seen any decent AI tool that works with vectors yet, but um, I'm sure it will be there soon. Here's just some inspiration for images that have been created with Firefly. You can see here that the prompt is a window with lots of lush houseplants, concept art, golden hour. And here are some of the examples that uh, the community have created. And if you scroll over the image, you can see the prompts used. And for this insect here, uh, you have an ultra realistic image of an ant running at high speed, the city buildings in the background, a sunny sky, create shallow depth of field, and motion blur with long exposure. I think it's a fairly cool image. And here we have a bear with glasses. So these are all made with Firefly. And looking at the various styles here, I expect it to be able to create images similar to Stable Diffusion and, and Mid Journey. Now, what it may lack is the sort of super illustrations that you can see on art station, Behance, uh, etc. But uh, we'll see. I mean, it's an AI. It's going to learn, right? And this is something that we saw in the video here, the in-painting, where you can uh, use a brush to add and remove or replace objects. And just with a text prop, you, you write what you want. So you could, here they've uh, removed the wings, probably. You can replace it with another set of wings. wings or, um, you know, helicopter rotor blades whatever your imagination allows. And here they have something called personalized results. You can generate images based on your own object or style. You can teach the AI similar to what Dream Booth and, and Laura does. Um, prob you could probably use your own face for this in a similar manner. And again, they're mentioning here text vector. But this, this is all in exploration still. But as it's available, at least these two are available today in Stable Fusion. I expect them to be available very soon in, in Firefly. Also the extend image that's out painting that's available in Stable Fusion today. Even the text to pair and that's also in Stable Fusion so Firefly should be able to do that very soon. We're gonna have a quick look at another video here. So uh, meet Adobe Firefly. 
we saw this change the scene into winter so that's really cool and it's adding a video so here they're generating brushes out of an image that's very cool here's the 3d the texturing that we saw previously very nice very nice and this is a, some sort of in painting Now that was something really cool. Most of these examples already, but here you can see, first of all, you have an M and it generate text styles and you have three different M's here. You have an M with some sort of a, is that a skull texture? And you have two monkeys in an M and you have a, like a furry M kind of. And then they take that M and then apply that to a word. This is really cool. This is something that I think many professionals will find immensely useful. This was the training that we talked about previously. So they put in a photo of headphones here. So this is uh, what they said, my, here are my headphones. So my headphones in a studio and they take that specific pair of headphones in various images. That's going to be very powerful for product photography, where you can have a very specific product and, and put that into whatever. I think this is a mind-blowingly cool feature, to be honest. This will be used a lot in professional use. Meet Adobe Firefly. Yeah, I would love to. It was uh, announced just today. You can sign up for the beta. I'm going to put the link in the description below. So go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you don't, well, I'm not your boss. Do whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video. As always, have a good one. See ya.